Sorry about that. Um, somebody had a question about where to find the break info, so I was trying to, uh, to get them hooked up. So tonight, what do we have on tap tonight? A couple of breaks. It will be a case of 2018 limited football, which is actually the last of the limited football that I have on hand. And you know what? After that, we're going to pop into some 2011 Prime Signatures football. And I actually thought that I had been out of that for a while until I found a little case. So that's the case we're going to be uh, working on, as a matter of fact. All right, let me get one little thing tweaked here. Sorry. You know, it's always whenever I run messages right up to the last minute, this is I get myself all out of order of what we're doing, don't I? But that's all right. We're back on track now, I think. So. Here's what we're going to do before we start breaking a little bit of information to go over. We're starting with what you see on the screen. A couple of things. One is about feedback because I get asked that a lot. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get positive feedback in return. And that's uh, because I have it automated. Yay for automation. And of course, the second thing, the more important thing that you see there is a note that says thank you because I do appreciate everyone who bids and breaks with me. Many of you chat with me, hang out with me. Uh, Keep me updated on scores and news and all that stuff. So I appreciate you spending part of your evening with me. We are taking a look right now at breaks that are listed on eBay that we're going to be breaking over the course of the next five nights. So tomorrow night is a Leaf Autograph multi-sport jersey. Spots are sold by the first letter of the last name. So Ernie Banks would be uh, a B. If you had Cam Newton, it would be an N, so on and so forth. All the spots are listed in the football category which is where I usually put the multi-sport stuff. After that, we'll do a three-box uh, case break of Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. The 2019 version checklist is awesome. It is uh, on one of the photographs that you can uh, click on there when you go into my description. You can see that full checklist. We will also open a six-box case of 2019 Top Series 1 Jumbo. Base cards do not ship to the teams in that break. Base cards have their own bidding category. Uh, instead, autographs, relics, numbered cards, uh, that type thing, inserts, will ship to the teams. Everything else goes to that base card category. Wednesday night, a Leaf autograph full-size helmet. Plates and patches comes out. Yay! We're going to break full case of that on its release night. We'll break the back half of this case of Prime Signatures that we start tonight. We'll finish on Wednesday night. And then we'll break another case of the Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. On Thursday, it will be another multi-sport jersey. We'll get into Panini One Football with a third master case break. The one we opened last night was insanely good. I love that new product. I can't wait to get into it again on Thursday night. We will also break a 12-box case of Optic Basketball, which is the last of the Optic. On Friday, Leaf Flash Football, that is its scheduled release date. As of right now, that's still what Leaf is telling us is the date, so hopefully it doesn't change. And uh, we'll open a case of that along with more plates and patches. And we're going to open two, uh, do a two-case break of Panini Revolution, the Chinese New Year edition. We opened some of that last year as well. Uh, it is a different configuration than regular Revolution, so make sure you, sure you check out the description on it. Saturday, Leaf Autograph Football Jersey, more Leaf Flash, and we'll start a new case of Prism Basketball Retail. We'll break a half case of that, which is 10 boxes uh, on Saturday night. So back to business for tonight. Okay, so we have uh, one free shipping break tonight. That's our Prime Signatures break and one paid break. That's Limited Football. So on the free shipping break, which is the Prime Sigs break, Anticipating that will be out the door to you no later than Monday a week from today. Probably it's going to go sooner, but that's what I always do with the free shipping stuff. It's always projected to go out about a week after the fact, although it often does go faster. Paid shipping break, of course, is limited, projecting it on the way to you uh, roughly Thursday. As always, if I can get it out sooner than that, I will. If something goes uh, wrong with the week, it could slide a day later. Consolation cards. If your team is not pulled in prime signatures in the free shipping break, typically I hang on to the consolation card, okay, which is what you are entitled to if your team isn't pulled in the break. 
And usually with a free shipping break, I just keep those. I do keep track of it for a rolling 90 days. Then the next time you have a package going, I send all of those consolation cards together in that one package. If, however, you are in that free shipping break and you're not pulled, you don't get any cards, and you would like your consolation card sent right away, all you need to do, send me a message and let me know. I will gladly take care of that for you. Limited football, I think all the teams will end up pulling cards in that, but if for some reason you do have a team that doesn't pull a single card, your consolation cards would ship out with the rest of the break because it is a paid shipping break. So up first tonight, a 14 box case break of 2018 limited football. This is our last case of it. And of course it uh, ended tonight on eBay along with everything else we're opening Monday night, the 11th of February. And you probably know this format well by now. We have team names on one side and your eBay user ID is up in lights across from your team if you are the winning bidder tonight. Of course, a new spreadsheet will go up for prime signatures before we start this break. The one you just saw was for limited football, which is our first break of the night. And last piece of business, you noticed right there, I bet, that the background went out of focus. But that is by design. Don't worry. You're going to be able to see all the cards actually even better, right? You'll be able to see them up nice and close now when I manually set the focus. So let me start getting these out of the case, and we'll try to catch up on chat at the same time. Jay Allen is here. Hi, Jay Allen. You said in the description, I'm assuming you're talking about the break date and time, maybe? Yeah, I know it's in there, but, you know, um, sometimes people don't read the description. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it amounts to. And then, uh, so that's, that's kind of probably how that happens. Or sometimes maybe they're looking at it on a mobile device, which has an abbreviated description and they don't click into the full description or something like that. I mean, that's always a possibility as well, I guess. And Greg is here, and L.A. is here. Hi, L.A. and Greg. And I see Griffin down the way here in chat. Let me scroll the rest of the way down see who else. Danny's here. Hi, Danny. And um, Mike is here. Hi, Mike. We had some good pulls for you the other night, didn't we? Seems like we do. Your name stands out in my mind for some reason. I think we must have hit something really good for you, Mike. And Greg, you said you're looking at... What does that mean? You're looking at the Guide National Treasures booklet? What do you mean by that? you got to help me out on that. Um, something, I don't know, some, something about National Treasures. And Jay is here. Hi, Jay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. It was the Baker Mayfield. See, I knew there was something. Your name stood out to me, and I was like, I know you got something really good, but I can't. I just couldn't specifically remember what the one really good thing was. Sometimes you got to bear with me. Sometimes my brain doesn't, uh, doesn't kick in. All right, let me get a few sleeves laying out here on the table, so that will make our lives easier. And then we're going to take a look at the contents of box number one. Christine is here looking to rock the Vikings. All right, let's work on rocking the Vikings. Um, Jared, I did not jump into that email yet because I haven't sorted that. Uh, I mean, I don't have all that ready to go, but I do have your boxes set aside for your empty boxes that you wanted for Panini One. So tomorrow or the following day, I will get those um boxed up and weighed and then I can put it into the post office website and find out what the cost is going to be to ship it to you and then at that point I will shoot you a message back with what your total is and then I'll send you a little PayPal uh, invoice for that amount and get it on the way to you. I just didn't jump in there uh, last night. You know I don't usually check it at night after the breaks and then today was insanely crazy so uh, but for sure, uh, we'll get you taken care of. I've got them. I have got them set aside for you. All right. So starting out here, our first hit out is a draft day signature booklet. That's fitting for our last case of limited because this is the first one of the draft day signatures that we have found. It's numbered to 55. It's for the Dolphins. And eh, maybe a little, um, a little, you know, wear at the crease as is typical. It is Minka Fitzpatrick, 
and that is a nice relic got a hard signed autograph up there of course your draft day photograph and uh, right off the bat I think we're off to a pretty good start here in our last case of limited I like the way it's going right now Jay Allen, you said you you do see the full description from your mobile device. Oh well, then I don't know what some I don't know what the reasoning is. <laughs> I guess somebody just flat out didn't read it. I don't know. <laughs> that would be my guess. Then I was trying to have the benefit of the doubt there. You know, Jamon Moore and the Green Bay Packers uh, eh, looks pretty good. Maybe a few little minor corner things, but nothing that I would really say is too crazy. Number to seventy five for Jamon Moore. Ezekiel is here too. Jim is looking for better luck for your lions. Well, definitely we need to uh, to work on that. We'll see if we can if we can get uh, your Detroit Lions on track tonight. We have a numbered Tom Brady, numbered to forty nine for the Patriots, and our hit is a rookie phenoms, most likely jersey for Nick Chubb and the Browns, number 250. Okay, speaking of the Browns, so guys, the news picked up, they picked up Kareem Hunt. The Browns did. Of course, he's still on the commissioner's exempt list, so there's no guarantee that if and when he'll play again, but obviously the Browns must feel like he's going to be cleared to play after some suspension or punishment or whatever, or I don't think they would have signed him. Although, apparently they got him on a really good one-year deal. As in, like, for a million uh, for a million dollars straight up, it sounded like, for a one-year deal. We have a points card, so that replaced one of our hits in here. We'll be giving that out using random.org at the end of the break. But I'm we'll uh, talk more about that in a minute. But yeah, so can you believe, like, the Browns already frankly, looked pretty good with their young core. Now you're going to add in Kareem Hunt, assuming he gets cleared to play. Um, yeah, that's kind of big news, I think. So our 400 points card, once again, it did replace a hit. It's going to sit right there in housekeeping. At the end of the break, we will use random.org to award that. And then the other interesting news today, we all saw this coming, I believe, but Kyler Murray is all in for football in the draft. 100% committed, no longer pursuing baseball at all. So the Oakland A's are out their first round draft pick for last year. Of course, he repays the bonus money that he got, but that hardly helps the A's out any. That is number 299, Ezekiel Elliott and the Cowboys. Here comes Josh Rosen, rookie phenom, jersey hit to 50 for the Arizona Cardinals. So, yeah, he is officially all in, announced it by Twitter today, 100% committed to football and football alone. So, oh, let the, let the Kyler Murray Derby begin. All the jockeying to see who's what team's going to end up with Kyler. Royce Freeman, Denver Broncos, that is numbered to 299 on card. The last mock draft that I saw today after Kyler made that announcement had him going number 13 to the Dolphins. But honestly, I would think he would go. I, I still say he goes higher than that. Maybe not, but I, I say he ends up going top 10. And I think there'll be some shuffling. I think there'll be some trading and things happening on the top end of the draft. And somebody's going to jump up there and pick up Kyler Murray. I think. So, I don't know. We'll see. But the Browns, that was a quite a gamble with Kareem Hunt. Not really unexpected, though, because, I mean, isn't Dorsey, wasn't Dorsey the GM for the Chiefs when they, um, I'm not GM for the Chiefs, what, I'm talking, well, yeah, I guess he was GM for the Chiefs when they drafted Kareem Hunt, wasn't? Maybe he wasn't GM, maybe he was player development. But at any rate, I think John Dorsey was involved with drafting Kareem Hunt when he was with the Chiefs. And so I'm not entirely surprised that that's where he ends up. I am a little surprised that they assigned him this quickly. And I'm a little surprised that he's on a one-year deal that low, just a million bucks. 
so they must really think that he's got he's probably going to have some heavy punishment to 50 Balage dolphins uh, Christopher this is the last of the limited we don't have any I don't have any more limited on hand don't really expect to be buying any additional I think all my distributors are are for the most part out as well as to 299 Rashad Penny and the Seahawks and the one who might have it left would have it really really marked up like to the point where it would probably not be feasible to break it so I would not expect to have any more limited but I mean you never know Clay Matthews comes out for the Green Bay Packers and Clay is numbered to 49 here come the Bears with a little Mitch Trubisky prime time oh that is a nice relic that's very nice obviously a uh, part of the K it would appear it is numbered to 10 and if you've got Chicago, I think that's a nice little pick up there for your stash. Well, yeah, Christine, for sure I expected somebody to pick up Kareem Hunt. But I did think that they would probably wait to see what kind of punishment the NFL handed down. You know, see how long the guy is going to be out or if he's going to be cleared to play again, for one thing. Um... And also just from a publicity standpoint. But then again, the Browns have spent the last how many years in the frying pan. So I guess they figured, well, oh, what the heck? We may as well just jump right on into the fire. <laughs> you know, we'll pick up this guy at a bargain. We'll deal with the negative publicity and go on. So there you go. We'll see. Christopher, I'm your Broncos good luck charm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I like to be somebody's good luck charm. We, we try hard to pull the things you're looking for on any given day. James White for the Patriots, number 99. He's kind of like Mr. Super Bowl. James White, it seems like every time the Patriots get to the Super Bowl, James White really kind of shows out. Here comes Jared Goff and the Rams. I was hoping that was going to be signed. No such luck. It is to 75 with a relic. And our base, did we already look at those base maybe, but I'm going to look at them again just in case. Just in case I didn't. I think we had, but Roquan Smith, Chicago Bears with another hit. Roquan is numbered to 50. So, yeah, that was the exciting football news today. I do feel bad for the Oakland A's, though. I mean, you know, they're a small market team to begin with. And to lose your first round draft choice, especially that way, because they're the ones who granted him permission to play football last season. That's got to burn. Dante Pettis and the 49ers. That's numbered to 299, hard signed auto and relic. And apparently, I mean, you know, their position players were due to report this weekend for the A's. I mean, they had his jersey. They had his locker. They were still expecting him to show up as recently, I think, as this morning. <laughs> now, granted, I think they knew there was a good chance he might declare for the draft, but I think they, they believed they might still get him in for spring training and have one last chance to, to change his mind, but no such luck. He's having none of it. Straight to the NFL. Anyway, you know, and the thing about it is if the guy were, I don't know, what, five inches taller, even probably four inches taller, it wouldn't have even been a question. He would have been top two, top three draft choice, and uh, everybody would have been all on board. But because he is the height that he is, yeah, there you go. Of course, a few years ago, that's to 99. A few years ago, he wouldn't have even drafted due to his height. It's only been in recent years that the NFL has kind of said, eh, maybe they can survive it for the Falcons, especially these days, because you can't even touch quarterback without getting a flag thrown. There is Leonard Fournette, prime time to 75. 
Well, I guess you can touch a quarterback if you are in the new league, <laughs> the Alliance, the whatever it is, AAF, Alliance of American Football or American Alliance of Football. I don't know what all those letters stand for. But anyway, if you watched any of those games over the weekend, there was one of the quarterbacks, I forget what his name was, took a hit, a blindside hit that knocked his helmet off. I mean, just beat the tar out of that guy. They didn't even throw a flag on it. It says numbered to 99, Roquan Smith and the Bears. So I guess, yeah, if you're in the AAF, um, <laughs> you're probably not going to survive if you're a little guy. But if you're in the regular NFL, can't really touch the quarterback uh, too much. Cortland Sutton, that's for the Broncos once again, and it is numbered to 299, hard signed autograph and relic. Christine, you're asking if anybody has seen one of the six signature booklets yet. Um, I have not pulled one. Now, I don't know about, uh, I'm, I would imagine that, that there have been some pulled. I would certainly think that they're around on... Uh, Somewhere. Oh, Christopher says somebody's selling a Patriot Six signature on Blowout that's a redemption. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, I'm, I'm sure that kind of stuff is floating around out there somewhere. You just have to look for it a little bit. Oh, Jay Allen says we're having Bears and Broncos uh, coming out like crazy and Panini hasn't done a good job of uh, collating to give all the teams an equal opportunity. And you're right. I mean, we've definitely hit a couple of Broncos hits and a handful of Bears hits. So, But we, do, we, we still have, what, half to go, maybe a little more than. So there's still hope for uh, other teams here that we've had this happen before. One part of the case we open has got a real heavy run for one team, and then we'll open the rest of the boxes and it spreads out a little. So we hope that's what will be the case here. Edo Smith and the Falcons, that is numbered to 50. Well, unless you're one of those teams, then you probably don't want anything to change because you're like, yeah, I'll take all the hits. <laughs> this is James Connor to 25 for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Mitch Trubisky, again, another primetime relic. What if we get another letter? That would be nice for the Bears. Yeah, but we didn't, and that one's numbered to 99, and it's kind of a boring relic in comparison to our other one, isn't it? little imperfection up there in the upper left that I see offhand. Minor, but, but there. A redemption. It's going to sit right there in housekeeping. It'll be face down until the end of the break. At that point, we will flip it over. Then we'll go to the Panini website, make sure that I have given you the correct team for it, and we will also take a look and find out what it's numbered to at that point in time. So any redemptions that we pull, that's that's how they're going to work, kids. They're going to sit right there, face down, until the end of the break. Joe Prime Signatures is uh, right after we finish Limited. So, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so, something like that. Give or take, you know, give or take five minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood, I would think. About 20 minutes from now, maybe. Kyle Lawletta comes out for the New York Giants. And Kyle is a hard-signed autograph and relic number to 50. Meanwhile, I know you would rather that have been Saquon, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna hope Saquon maybe he's on that redemption. We don't know. We don't know. You never know. Blake Bortles numbered to 99 for the Jags. <laughs> Christine, I know what you mean on that. I'm I'm kind of the same way. Sometimes you know, I'm chasing one particular card and I spend more on breaks than what I could have just bought the card for. I don't know about for you, but for me, I don't get the same level of satisfaction at all if I just buy it. This is numbered to 75, Josh Allen for the Bills. Uh, barely got a second color in there on your relic. 
Yeah, because I've done that before. I have just gone out and bought the signatures, and I never, I don't know, it, its I can't explain it. It just lights up that reward center in my brain, I guess, when I get it in a break. And I much prefer that to buying it, even if I end up spending more money. I know that's weird, but that's how I am. <laughs> that's Darius Slay to 50 for the Lions. I know it doesn't make good sense, but what can I tell you? <laughs> That's how I look at it. It's not as much fun for me if I don't get it in a break or pull it out of a pack myself. I'm also okay with that, but just straight up buying it is just not fun for me. I don't know. Brad, you think the redemption is going to be for DJ Moore? I just saw the edge of another redemption in that pack, so we're going to have a pair of them now. Anyway, a pair. Danny says, uh, Saquon Emerald would be nice. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. I know, Christopher, that was a crazy box where you got that Elway one of one in our, he said, uh, what'd you say it was? Case number two. Okay, I can't ever remember which case is which, but we had one box where every hit in the box, because of course there's one per pack, was a one of one. It was crazy. And uh, the last one was a redemption. And it was for John Elway. A one of one John Elway. It was insane. Well, the Lions uh, had Darius Slay a minute ago. And now you have a little Kenny Galladay. Kenny G joining the party for the Lions. Numbered 250. And what do we have up next? Russell Wilson. Numbered to 49 for the Seahawks. We've got a different team, at least, on our hit. Somebody we haven't yet seen tonight. It's Melvin Gordon and the Chargers. Primetime relic number 299. Yeah, see, Brad, you're the same way that I am about that. You, you, you want to get them in a break? I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess I have thought about it before. And there's our other redemption and I mean, I'm not unaware of the fact that if I just bought it outright, that I could oftentimes get it for less, but it's just, I don't know, like I said it right, it just lights up that reward center for me. Plus, it's a lot like, I, I always rationalize it this way. I think, well, yes, I could buy that one, but if I get in a break, maybe I'll hit three of them. <laughs> you know, like, does that ever happen to me? No, no. I don't ever hit three of them in the same break. But that's how I rationalize it when I'm convincing myself that it's better to do it that way. So, now now you know my secret. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is the way it rolls. Greg, you bought a Carson Wentz Elements autograph? Well, I like Elements. That was another new product this year that we hadn't had in past years. I liked it. I hope they bring it back next year as well. I Actually, I liked most of the products that debuted this year, but I think Panini 1 is probably my, my favorite so far. It has really just been exceptional for us thus far anyway. Jaleel Scott, Baltimore Ravens to 299. Hard signed autograph. And Josh, you're our Joshua. I always want to shorten that and call you Josh, and I know it's Joshua. Um, Joshua, I don't, I mean, there's nothing in here that I would say is like a smoking hit right at this moment. So, I mean, we've had some decent hits, but I don't think there's anything in here I would say, you know, we've got a expect Wells Fargo to back up the truck kind of thing. That was numbered to 99, Marcus Mariota. Naheem Hines and the Colts to 75. But of course, you know Joshua will recap it. So you will get a chance to take another look at anything you might have missed. You'll get a chance to see again here shortly. Ronald Jones, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Little imperfection, upper left. Nice patch. I do like your patch quite a bit. It is numbered to 199. And by the way, now that you have Bruce Arians down there, I would look for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to be significantly better next year, I would think. 
Jay, I see you asked about uh, 2011 Prime, and Jay Allen jumped in there and answered it. Thank you, Jay Allen. Um, so, Jay, you know, we've got, what, four boxes left here and a couple of redemptions to look up. So, you know, 15 minutes maybe, something like that, and we'll be, uh, we'll be, be ready to go into 2011 Prime Signatures, give or take a few minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, Jay Allen, you said the cases you've seen of Panini 1 have all been not so good? Really? Wow, you did not think the case we opened last night was not so good? Oh, wow. Well, I would have to completely disagree with that. I mean, we hit all of our first round quarter, rookie quarterbacks out of one case. And, uh, you know, the Darnold was to five with the Nike swoosh and the NFL shields. I, I mean, I thought last night's case was fantastic. Naheem Hines to 299 for the Indianapolis Colts. I'm a little surprised that you didn't think that was a good case. Uh, I think most most everybody seemed to think that was a pretty good case last night. But I guess, you know, like everything else, in the eye of the beholder, Justin Houston, Kansas City Chiefs. And Justin is numbered 250. But I have been um, exactly the opposite of Jay Allen, who doesn't seem to like Panini One very much. I have been really happy with it. I think we've gotten some good hits out of it, and I like it. Uh, is it from Dumb and Dumber? I like it. I like it a lot. It is a Jim Carrey of some sort. Number to 99, Devin Funches, Panthers. I can't remember if it's Dumb and Dumber or something else, though. Nick Chubb, Rookie Phenoms, that is numbered to 99, a little jersey hit for the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, yeah, everybody's everybody's got their own opinion of it. Sounds like Jay Allen doesn't like Panini One, but I think there's an awful lot of people that do like it. I am, you can count me in the camp of the people that do like it. I like the look of the cards. I like the hits that have been coming out of it, and I think it's an, an excellent product. But of course, like anything else, there will be people who like it and people who don't. So fortunately, we've got lots of things to choose from. So those of you who don't like it, you just skip right over it. <laughs> Greg says there's no value in what we hit last night. Wow. I bet the people who hit the Darnold and the Lamar Jackson and the Baker Mayfield and uh, the Josh Rosen would probably beg to differ with that assessment. But fair enough, guys. Uh, Greg and Jay Allen don't like it. So duly noted in the books, we got you on that. The rest of us will keep on breaking that one until we run out anyway. Boston Scott comes out for the New Orleans Saints. That is numbered to 199. The little NOLA action. Andy Dalton, Cincinnati Bengals to 99. <laughs> Christopher, I know, right? You're looking for Bradley Chubb. You're like, I don't want Nick Chubb. No, where's Bradley? I feel you on that one. But uh, so far, I haven't seen him. Primetime Joe Mixon to 99 for the Bengals. We already looked at those three little base cards there. And then we have another Nick Chubb. Oh my gosh, we got the wrong Chubb for you again. However, if you've got the Browns, it's the right Chubb. The one you wanted is Nick. If you've got Cleveland, it is numbered to 50. Relic and hard signed autograph. Oh, well, Jay Allen's just insulting me now. He's just saying that I can't do math if I like Panini One. <laughs> All righty. Well, we've kind of devolved, haven't we? Now we're now we're all about the insults. Did you have a bad day today, Jay Allen? I don't know. I well, I will though, however, admit math is perhaps not my strong suit. But I don't know. I guess if we did the math, probably you wouldn't do breaks in general, would you? Like we were discussing earlier, it's cheaper just to go buy them. But it's not the same thing, is it, for those of us who enjoy breaks? 
This is coming out for the Houston Texans. It's to 199 and it's Jester. Next up is Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills. A little imperfection down there in the lower left corner. It's very minor, but you know I kind of point those things out. Um, that's an awesome patch, especially on a card that's numbered to 125. You know, typically you would think that you would find that on a lower numbered card, but that's quite nice. Minor imperfections on your two corners over here on the blue and hard signed autograph. All in all, a nice card coming out for the Buffalo Bills. Then we have Andy Dalton again. Why do we need another Andy Dalton? I don't think we do. I don't think we need another Andy Dalton. It is numbered to 99 for the Bengals. I mean, it's fine to have another one, but I'd rather have one with some ink, right? Or a relic. I'm saying just another straight up numbered one. We would have rather seen a little something added to it. Nelson Aguilar, numbered to 75 for the Eagles. Well, Griffin, I don't disagree with you on that. I mean, bidding has been uh, up there on Panini 1. You're not incorrect about that. Uh, the bidding certainly has been high. But it's all commiserate with the price. You know, bidding gets very high on National Treasures and Flawless as well. But the reason that it does is because the resale value of the hits supports it. So, you know, if you were, if you, let's say you pulled a Baker Mayfield out of National Treasures and it was only going to sell for $20, well, you wouldn't pay $500 for the spot. But if you pull a Baker Mayfield and maybe it's going to sell for $2,000, well, then you're more willing to risk $500 for the spot. Although an NT Baker Mayfield would sell for more than $2,000, but you get my drift. So it's all relative. That's why some products, uh, you know, are going to have higher costs up front. And that certainly was not a cheap case of cards to begin with. And then it's all based on resale. You know, it's the way the world goes around. Supply and demand. Number to 99, we have a little Todd Gurley for the Rams. Kenyon Drake making an appearance for the Dolphins. And that is numbered to 99 for Kenyon. Calvin Ridley and the Falcons. Hard signed autograph. You know I like my man Calvin Ridley. And that is numbered to 125. Anthony, you are asking uh, in this break about Patriots and the Steelers. If you are, we are really close to recapping, my friends. So if you hang tight, you're going to get a chance to take a look at everything we've pulled here in just a couple minutes. Got one more box to look through. We'll uh, verify our two redemptions and a couple little things like that, and then we'll be recapping. To 149, that's Kaiser White for the Chargers. And now we are on Last Box Mojo. That's right. It's that time of night where we have to call forth the powers of the Mojo to bring out the big hit or hits. It's the last pack of the last box of our last case of 2018 Limited. So let's hope that uh, it brings us something excellent out of here. Griffin, I like to get a lot of the Hall of Fame uh, autographs too for my team anyway, for the Steelers. And I agree with you, I don't resell those, but also those don't have a super high resale value for I mean, obviously, some of them do. Your Elways and, you know, your Jim Kellys and certain things do. But a lot of just the base kind of Hall of Famers may not. But I do keep those in a personal collection. I agree with you. Gronk to 99 for the Patriots. Devin Funchess for the Carolina Panthers. Number 2, 75.
Ooh, Lamar Jackson. We had to wait for it, didn't we? But we did get last box mojo. See, you'd be surprised how often that works. It worked tonight. That is number 10. Ho oh, if you've got the Ravens, that is a nice hit for you. A little imperfection down there, lower uh, corner. And, you know, maybe a little in the upper corners. But, again, very minor. But a really nice uh, hard-signed Lamar Jackson autograph to 10. Nice relic with it. Ravens, uh, very good pull here out of the last box. So, congrats to Baltimore. And the final hit that we have live is Harold Landry for the Tennessee Titans. And Harold is numbered to 199. Now, we've got a little housekeeping to do here before we recap. We do have our two redemptions. I'm getting ready to flip those over. And most likely, we're going to know what teams those go to. However, I will still take us to the Panini website. We'll pull up their checklist and verify the teams there on screen so everyone can see it. At the same time that we do that, it will show us what those cards are going to be numbered to if they are numbered. Right after we do that, we're going to give away the 400 rewards points. That's pretty simple. We'll use random.org to do that as well, and I'll walk you through it when we get to it. But first off, let's flip our redemptions and see what we can uh, find here for that. Um, you said, Mike, you paid $920 for a Barkley 60 box break of one and didn't get one. Ooh, that is a rough one. That is a rough one. We had him in case one, but we didn't have him in case two uh, for, for our tally anyway. DJ Moore, Rookie Patch Autographs. I think somebody guessed that, didn't you? Someone guessed that earlier, said that it was going to be DJ Moore. And, of course, he's going to be a Panther. But, again, we'll go to the website and check it out. Our second redemption is, oh, it's Kalen Balazs, uh for the Variation RPA, and that'll be the Dolphins. Didn't we have a live Kalen Balazs in there, too? Maybe it was just a relic or something for the one that was in there. But anyway, let's uh, get let's get you let's get me to the right place. Then I can get you to the right place. And where's my button? There we go. Now we're both in the correct spot. So I'm gonna work my way through this little drop down menu here. And for those of you waiting on 2011 Prime signatures, of course it is coming up here as soon as we verify our redemptions and do our recap. So. Uh, not not too far to go. Got a little bit of time to go, but not much. We're going to do the DJ uh, Moore first. Rookie Patch Autographs. He is card number 111. And it looks like the DJ Moore is going to be numbered to, what does that say, 299. Yeah. See, I set my laptop too far away from me tonight. I can't see what it says on there. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do the Dolphins. And that is Rookie Patch Autograph Variations is our card set. And the card number is 161. So we need Rookie Patch Autograph Variations. Card number 161. Kalen Balage. That is numbered to 149 for the Dolphins. I think that's was a, I think that's a four, right, and not a nine. I think it, I think it is. I'm telling you, I put the th thing too far across the way tonight. I can't read what the silly thing says. Now we have a points card to give away. Here's how this works. Um, anytime that we get those, they're given out using random.org. So it's pretty easy. I just copy the team names directly from the spreadsheet, which obviously you see me doing right now because I'm bringing you along with me. And then we will drop them in over at random.org. And because we have 10 or more items in our list, we're only going to randomize one time. When I have nine or fewer, we randomize uh, three times. But when I have 10 or more, we randomize once. So there's the list. You can see everybody was uh, correctly copied and pasted in there. The team that ends up in the number one position after I click this randomize button will get that points card. And it comes up for the Dallas Cowboys. So Dallas ends up uh, 
getting the 400 points card heading your way. So let's go ahead and recap everything. And as soon as we do that, then we'll be going into, uh, into our 2011 prime signatures. You said, oh, wow. Steelers EJ, you watched a break of Panini one and saw two Barkley RPAs and a Strahan autograph. Wow. Well, that was a nice, uh, uh, little hit there, wasn't it? A case rather. Hi, Vlad. I didn't see you come in a while ago. Vladislav is here. All right, so there's 99 for the Patriots to 99 for the Rams. 99 Bengals, 99 Bengals, 99 Panthers. How about this? We're going to assume they're all to 99 unless I say otherwise. I think that might be easier. Mariota for the Titans. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks is to 49. Blake Bortles for the Jags. James Conner for my Pittsburgh Steelers to 25. Matt Ryan for the Falcons. James White for the Patriots. Clay Matthews to 49 for the Packers. Ezekiel Elliott for the Cowboys. And Tom Brady to 49 for the Patriots. Those are our numbered cards that did not have a signature or autograph attached to them. 400 rewards points cards. went. Uh, it was given to the Cowboys using random.org. A Kalen Balage Redemption. Dolphins will be numbered to 149. A DJ Moore Redemption. Panthers will be numbered to 299. Now let's recap the rest of it here. So Harold Landry is out for the Titans. Kaiser White for the Chargers. There's Kenyon Drake and the Dolphins. Nelson Aguilar for the Eagles. Joe Mixon Bengals. Nick Chubb for the Browns. Dante Pettis to 299 49ers on card autograph. Roquan Smith to 50 for the Bears. To 75 is a Jared Goff relic for the Rams. That nice Mitch Trubisky relic to 10 or patch, whatever you want to call it. To 299 Rashad Penny for the Seahawks. And there's Kalen Balage numbered to 50. So we had a redemption for him and one live. So the redemption must be a hard signed autograph, one would assume. Royce Freeman to 299 hard signed auto for the Broncos. There's Josh Rosen to 50 for the Cardinals. Nick Chubb to 50 for the Browns. Jamon Moore hard signed 70 to 75 for the Packers. Here's the nice booklet for Minka Fitzpatrick draft day signatures. It's numbered to 55 for the Dolphins, and it's the only draft day signatures booklet that we pulled out of uh, four cases of limited. That's the only draft day signatures booklet we found so nice to have that in there and lamar jackson to 10 nice hit for the baltimore ravens who were probably getting very nervous because that came out of the very last box devin funches for the panthers calvin ridley and the falcons hard signed autograph this nice josh allen to 125 hard signed auto and handsome relic there there's Jester to 199 for the Texans. Here's Chubb for the Browns, numbered 250, hard signed. Boston Scott to 199 for the Saints. Justin Houston to 50, Kansas City Chief, hard signed. Naheem Hines for the Colts. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, hard signed autograph. Ronald Jones, there's a relic for Naheem Hines and the Colts. Jaleel Scott, hard signed autograph for the Ravens. Melvin Johnson, Chargers. Kenny Galladay to 50 for the Lions. Darius Slay to 50 for the Lions. A Josh Allen relic for the Bills. For the Giants, it's Kyle Lawletta to 50. Hard signed auto and relic. Another Mitch Trubisky relic. Not, as quite, not quite as nice as our first one. As far as, you know, interesting to look at. Edo Smith to 50 for the Falcons. Cortland Sutton to 299. Hard signed autograph for the Broncos. Roquan Smith to 99 for the Bears. And Leonard Fournette to 75 for the Jags. So that is limited in the books and ready to rock. So I know, Jay Wheeler, there weren't any Cowboys in there, were there? Uh, other than, well, at least you did get, I mean, it didn't count for much, but I, at least you did end up seeing the uh, 
the random points card fell the Cowboys way, but yeah, that was not one of the not one of the stronger breaks for the Cowboys. You did have, I guess, what one numbered Ezekiel Elliott in there, I think, uh, at least, and then of course you got the uh, got the points card, which I guess better than nothing, right? Maybe. So, if you did not see this earlier, here's the information you need to know about shipping. Limited that we just finished up should be on the way to you uh, by Thursday, sooner if I can get it. The only reason it would be later is if something unexpected uh, fell into my lap this week that derailed things. So, I would expect that you'll see it on the way on or before Thursday. The break that is upcoming, which is Prime Signatures Football... And that one is a free shipping break. Those are always projected out a week after the um, break. Now, most often, they're going to ship out to you faster than that. But that's how they're always projected on a free shipping. So that means it will be on the way to you no later than Monday a week from today, but probably sooner. And if your team is not pulled in the break that we just finished for limited, if you didn't pull any cards at all, your consolation card will ship to you with the rest of the break since it's a paid shipping break. If you are in the upcoming break, which is for prime signatures, the free shipping break. If your team is not pulled in that break, typically your consolation card is held until the next time the package ships. If you want it sent sooner, you just hit me up and let me know. We'll get you squared away. So this is a five... Uh, box half case of 2011 prime signatures football this is break number 83 and it also ended tonight february the 11th now we used to break this really often and everybody that was selling it kind of ran out of it and honestly without me realizing they were about to run out of it or i probably would have bought quite a bit because i enjoy breaking it too and so i thought we were out as well i found one box a week or so ago so here we are breaking it and, of course, no bids buyback indicates that the Jags were not sold. Uh, so if anything comes out for the Jags, stays up here with me. Otherwise, everything else is going to go out to you guys and gals. Okay, now we are, uh, of course, this is a half case break. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take out all the boxes out of our little case here. And I will number each of them on the end. Then we will use random.org to determine which ones uh, we open up tonight versus which ones we open up on Wednesday night when we, when we get into the back half of this case. So that way it's all very, very transparent, very easy to figure out how we how we determine you know which ones are opened on any given night we just do it all this way and keep it nice and simple easy to follow and know what's going on and I mean it's just as easy if you you know people can call right side of the case left side of the case top of the case bottom of the case I mean it all kind of accomplishes the same thing I just generally speaking do it this way unless there's a tremendous amount of boxes involved then you know then we might go back to a like somebody call it in chat sort of format but for the most part we do it like this all right oh what did i just do right there oh man yeah gone it see i should have been looking when i was typing at it, <laughs> when i was typing it in and i wasn't now there we are all in there yes all right so we are, I only randomize once when we're doing it for this purpose because, you know, there's nothing involved other than which boxes we're going to open. So we are opening boxes 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right. 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There are our five boxes. Give me a second to put the other half of the case back in its little home, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so it's been a while since I've opened this. i got to think about this. So we've got... One pack in each box, and then typically it is one hit in each pack. Every once in a while, we pull uh, two hits out of a pack. It doesn't happen real often, but it has, you know, happened a handful of times. So it's 
possible. If we find redemptions in here, which is definitely possible, they will be expired, of course, because this product's from 2011. But you will still want to redeem them. Put them in your Panini account just like you would an unexpired redemption. And if they still have the card, which they do still have them from stuff this far back sometimes, usually you're going to get it within probably three or four months on an expired one. If you haven't seen anything come your way within three or four months, then most likely they don't still have it. Now, if it's an active player, let's say it, let's say we find Julio Jones, for instance, you might wait a little bit longer because he still signs for them, you know, so there's still a chance you could end up with it even after that window. But if it's a retired player or something like that, that isn't, you know, I mean, Peyton Manning would still be signing for them, but if it's a more obscure retired player that doesn't still sign for them and stuff like that, then at that point you're probably going to want to end up getting it replaced. And they'll do that. They just trade it out for like value. So they would look at the current uh, Beckett value for your card and then say, okay, well, you know, tell us who your favorite teams are, your favorite players, that sort of thing, and figure it out that way. And the best way to track them down, because you will have to find a live person if you do need to trade out, you know, redemptions that are just sitting there that have never been fulfilled, then I would say use Twitter or Facebook. That's typically the best way to get someone to respond to you in that regard. So, all right. So Jay says we need to pull some fire out of here. Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll see what we can do. All right, we have got 499 Lenny Moore and the Colts. Uh, there's Jacoby Ford to 499 for the Raiders, Charlie Taylor to 499 for the Redskins, and then our, our redemption. Just you know, right? Like I just you almost always find one in a case. That's why I figured, yeah, we're pretty safe to give the little spiel up front because we're probably gonna find one. <laughs> Warren Moon, of course, the Oilers go to the Titans. That is because cards always stay with their franchises. Former Houston Oilers are the current Tennessee Titans. Our hit is Dane Sanzenbacher. It is numbered to 199. That is a sticker autograph. It is for the Chicago Bears. Next up is Otis Anderson to $4.99 for the Giants. Mean Joe Green, love him, to $4.99 for the Steelers. Bo Jackson to $99 for the Raiders. Oh, look at that hit, kids. And that's just been sitting around here for how long? Because I didn't know I had this case. How would you like to have a little J.J. Watt rookie numbered to 49 if you have the Houston Texans? Um, yeah, I think you probably like that hit okay. Last night, out of our 2011 case of Crown Royal, we found the Cam Newton uh, rookie autograph. Tonight, we find the J.J. Watt for the Texans. Just another reason to love 2011 football. Eagles to 4.99. Lashawn McCoy, Laurent Robinson to 4.99 for the Cowboys. Percy Harvin, 4.99 for the Vikings, and a second redemption. The Vikings with Adrian Peterson to $4.99, Jack Youngblood to $4.99 for the Rams, Leroy Kelly to $99 for the Browns, and then we have Austin Colley to $50 for uh, the Colts, Indianapolis Colts. So we ended up with two redemptions out of this half case, and you know the drill. We're going to go figure this out at the website and this is the old school way that they did it when they didn't even put the player name on there. So, like, we don't know at all till we go over here and try to figure this hot mess out. So, one of them is Rookie Signature Gold, which means it'll be very low numbered or, you know, relatively speaking. You know, they're 2011. Things weren't as low numbered then as they are now. Card number 216. Our other one is a Rookie Signature Silver RPS card 230. So, we're going to head back over here to... Our friend Panini's website back to their handy little online checklist and see if we can't manage to to track these down and find out who they are and where they go. I can get myself there. We'll be doing all right, won't we? 
Prime Signatures. Let's do the silver one first. So Rookie Signature Silver RPS Card 230. And it's Powell for the Jets. And it is number 1099. So let me label that one up here real quickly. And our next up is Rookie Signatures Gold, card number 216. So let's get to that. Card 216 is who? Williams for the Giants. I don't know how to say his first name. Williams for the Giants. It's numbered to 49. So, I don't know if they'll still have the one for the Giants or not. But again, after you redeem it, let it set for a few months. I think on the older stuff, you kind of have to let it set for about three months before they'll talk to you about trading it out. But then after that point, they will, you know, work with you on trading it out. So... Okay, so let's uh, recap our hits. Of course, we're not going to recap our base. All, all the cards are numbered in prime signatures. I'm sure you noticed that. So uh, we're not going to recap everything, but we will recap our hits. This is Austin Colley, numbered to 50 for the Indianapolis Colts. And J.J. Watt, numbered to 49 for the Houston Texans. Nice little rookie hit there. Followed by Dane Sanzenbacher. That is to 199 for the Bears. The Giants with a redemption that would be numbered to 49. And then the Jets with Powell uh, to 99 on the Silver RPS redemption. All right, that is it for tonight. That is both of our breaks. Uh, for anybody who did not catch it earlier, I will put up the spreadsheet information here one more time. We'll take a look at the breaks that are coming up in the days ahead. We'll take another quick little peek at shipping information, which I think prob probably everybody's seen by now. But in case you haven't, there it is. If you have any questions about it, please hit me up uh, either in chat right now or by eBay messages if it's after the fact. I won't read through all that again because you've had to suffer through that a couple of times uh, already. Now, uh, these are our upcoming breaks. This is the stuff that is listed on eBay already that we're going to be breaking here over the next few days, including the back half of this case of 2011 Prime Signatures. So tomorrow night it is a Leaf Autograph multi-sport jersey. And the multi-sport stuff, it's all listed by the first letter of the last name, and it's all in the football category. So, um, you know, whoever you were to pull, Dak Prescott would be last name, you know, starting P, Hank Aaron, last name starting A, etc. Following that, we'll do a three-box case of Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs checklist. Amazing. Be sure and look at it. It's in the listing description uh, as a photograph, but it's a really awesome checklist for 2019 Onyx Preferred. Then we'll open a six-box case of Top Series 1 Baseball Jumbo. Base cards don't ship to the teams. They have their own bidding category. And what does go to the teams, autographs, relics, inserts, and numbered cards. On Wednesday, we will open a Leaf Autograph Full-Size Football Helmet. I think that might be my next to last one of those. Plates and Patches comes out, which is all kinds of awesome. And I love my plates and patches. We'll be opening a full case of that on release night, Wednesday night. Then we'll open the back half of this case of 2011 Prime Signatures that we started tonight. And another three-box case of Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. Thursday night, another multi-sport jersey. We will open a master case of Panini One Football. That's our two 10-box uh, inner cases, of course as well as the final case I have on hand of Optic Basketball. Friday night, Leaf Flash Baseball is due to come out on Friday, assuming that Leaf doesn't like flake out and do something crazy to us. Uh, we'll break that on Friday night, assuming that it shows up on Friday night, along with another case of Plates and Patches Football. And we're going to do a two-case break of Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year edition. We broke some of that last year, too, 
It's got different uh, card, different parallels in it. The Chinese New Year edition does. And typically they had some pretty good resale value last year. I would assume it would be similar this year. But you can check out all the configuration and information there, of course, in the listing description. Scroll down to the bottom where I put the manufacturer information and you'll see uh, what info they released about that. On Saturday, we're going to do uh, a Leaf autograph football jersey, a second case of Leaf Flash baseball, and we're going to do a half case of Panini Prism basketball, the retail version. That's a 10-box half case break of uh, Prism retail. So we've done, we've done both hobby and retail. I'm just keeping the numbering consistent uh, all the way down through the line so as to not be confusing so, um, all right. So, oh, Jay, you didn't have any luck tonight. I am sorry to hear that. And Echo, got your jets? Good. And Michael, oh, no, Michael didn't have any luck either. I'm sorry, guys. That's never any fun. And Jim, you are welcome for the break. Thank you for joining. And uh, Dennis, you need to see how, oh, man. Okay, um, hang on a second. <laughs> I've got that. I moved that on down the line when we started uh, Prime Signatures, but if you hang on a second here, I'll locate your uh, booklet again out of the limited stuff. Okay, so I've already switched the, uh, the camera, so it's not going to show up great because the camera's already been um, switched back of course but that was that was our draft day signature booklet all right kids that is it for me tonight thank you once again for spending part of your evening with me i appreciate you being here i hope you are having a great week we will be back at it tomorrow night so uh, please come hang out with me again if not then sometime soon take care now bye